I've noticed construction. that the project itself has a certain taste. It's done in a manner which matches the coral gables. The beginning price and the highest price. Tell us about that place. So we start at two million and our highest is five million, the villa. Guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm David Arzumanian, hopefully your realtor from Miami. Today, we're looking at a very interesting project located in Coral Gables. The name of the project, The Village at Coral Gables. And we're here with Patsy Bilbao, who is a part of the sales team, and she's gonna help us with this project. Hi, Patsy, how are Hi, you? Hi, how are very you? Very nice to welcome see you. Welcome to The Village at Coral Gables. Thank you very much. Tell us a little bit about the team behind this beautiful project. Who is the developer? Who is the architect? Where is it located? Okay, so the, the developer in particular is actually uh, very Coral Gables. He's been building in the Gables for the last, last eight years. Great. Uh, he has about eight projects mm -hmm. and uh, it's been very helpful for us because when uh, individuals purchase pre-construction, they want to know, they want to make sure that they're receiving what they're being promised, they're getting what they're seeing and it's going to be delivered. And he has been building here, uh, as I said, he has a track record, so we can actually take them to some of his already previous uh, projects. And Beautiful. Connected. So Beautiful. It's, it's a very good team and it's, it's done very well. nice thing is being uh, working for a developer like that is that we actually have products to show to investors and to buyers. Excellent. So the buyer could see uh, based on other projects the level of finishing materials, the delivery dates and etc. That's very important. Very right? important. And I've noticed that the project itself has a certain taste it's done in a manner which matches the Coral Gables. Can you tell us about the architect a little bit? Yes, uh, Maria de la Guardia uh, is an excellent, excellent architect, very well known in the Gables and outside of the Gables. Uh, his designs, uh, thanks to her uh, features and the way she uh, designs, has mm -hmm. won awards. We all have this opportunity to to create a vision of how the city of Coral Gables can develop in, in the future. And I think that George Merrick would be very happy with the project <laughs> yeah. because we embraced his ideas of community making by creating public spaces for the community. He created this moments like the De Soto Fountain, like the Venetian Pool, like Country Club Prado. Wow. Uh, so there, she's uh, a very much of a purist of Coral Gables. Uh, everything, every individual touch and finish that she does is very true to character, true yeah. to the uh, architectural I've noticed, form. I really wanted, I, like you know, we have a specific client for this and as soon as we opened up your website and we saw the renderings, we realized it's going to be specifically to Coral Gables, to the local very culture. Much. And we wanted to come and to see the project. Very That's much so. Amazing. Well, Pat, I don't even know where to begin. Tell us where you have uh, flats, where you have townhomes. Tell us about it, please. Okay. So um, this is a collection of 48 residences and we have the flats here. We have four buildings of flats, a uh, total of 24. 
but they're each boutique buildings. So there's uh -huh. only six per building. Okay. Uh, we have four lofts. Uh -huh. um, that's the total. Uh, then okay. we have 16 townhouses over here, mm -hmm. which is his signature uh, type of property. And we have four villas over here. I see a lot of balconies here. That's very good. Uh, is it pets friendly? Yes, it is. Is there a clubhouse or other amenities? Yes, in here? that's the charm of this is that you do have amenities. You have a community pool, which is located by the lofts. Okay. And then in between the buildings of the condos, you have two little bridges. In the one bridge, you have a gym and a lounge. And in the other bridge, you have a business center and a club room. You Go also ahead. have on site management. So this is the entire city block. What does it mean as far as egress, regress? Where do people drive in and where do they park their cars? Okay, so if you take a close look at the property, okay. you'll see three streets. One, two, two and, and three. three. Mm -hmm. this is the, these are the streets where the residences are gonna drive through to get to their garages mm -hmm. and to park. Mm -hmm. you, have, you can have access from either street, from either side of the block. I see there are pockets inside of the ceilings, uh, of the roof here. Is this where all of the engineering goes? Yeah, AC and where everything the ACs else? and everything. So they kind of hide it from outside. It's not seen. It's beautiful. Right. I like it. Right. Yeah, I see this is a very green project. A lot of trees here. What about the pools? Is there just one pool in the project or multiple? So the one pool that's by the lofts is for the community. Okay. However, our villas, our four villas have their own private pools. Very nice, wow. Mm -hmm. That's that's convenient. So they don't have to walk all the way to the other side of the right. block. Right, they're like almost nice. like homes. So they are homes. Yeah, you and I see, that. again, three, <laughs> three driveways is very convenient. No, I like it, I like it. A lot of terraces, I mean, the way it's designed, a lot of beautiful balconies here. Yes, and so the, the architect is all about bringing in a lot of natural light into the residences, as well as having a lot of social areas. So mm -hmm. every single residence you look at has either large terraces or big entertainment area within the residence. Um, she's all about windows, light, and entertainment areas. What about finishings? Let's start with the terraces because I see barbecues in there. Does that mean the developer will provide some cabinetry outside on the terraces? Yes, for the townhouses and the villas, which are the largest residences, they're mm -hmm. coming with summer kitchens. Beautiful. So they'll have the whole, the grill, as well as the sink and some other components. Oh, even the plumbing, the sink, wow, yes. beautiful. Patsy, what about <laughs> the finishing inside the unit? Can you tell us what's included and what's not included? Sure, so they're going to be pretty much finished, uh -huh. except for the closets. The closets are not, and also there are no window treatments. Okay. There will be, everything else will be finished. The lighting, the recessed lighting will be included, but not the decorative. Got it, got it. So basically there will be no curtains, but obviously, but it will be completed house. Closets will be just the walls. Is there will be a door on the closet or no door? Um, most of them have doors. Most of them it have doors. It depends on the design. Depends on the design. All right, beautiful. Now. Since uh, this is your neighborhood, I'm visiting here. I love Coral Gables and Coconut Grove area, by the way. Can you tell me within walking distance, where can they go to from this property? Is there any restaurants, any anything? Yeah, so that's the charm about the location of this. This is really only one block from the urban core of Coral Gables. Even though it's in a residential area, uh -huh. you're only one block. So you can actually walk to restaurants, you can walk to uh, boutiques, uh, Beautiful. Farmer's market, you have everything it. there. Very walkable lifestyle. I also, the location is very close to the airport. Patsy, one of the most important questions for people is the beginning price and the highest price. Tell us about that, please. So we start at $2 million and our highest is $5 million, the villa. And as far as the down payment and then the following payments, what's the payment structure? So 20% uh, at purchase mm -hmm. and then another 10 at groundbreaking and we have already broken ground. Okay. And then another 10 at top off, which will be next year. 
Uh, Patsy, I see these are three-story buildings, you know, do they have elevators? Yes, they do, um, the, yes. Okay. What about rental restrictions here? Can you rent it monthly, annually? How does it work in this project? Annually, once a year. Annually, once a year. So this is not an Airbnb type of project. You can invest, either leave yourself or rent it, but annually. That's very important to know. Thank Correct. you. Well, I think we covered most of it. Patsy, thank you very much for your hospitality. My pleasure. Thank you for I truly coming. I appreciate it. Thank you and for we'll coming. And we look forward to closing deals here with our I, clients. I'll be thank holding you. my breath. All right. <laughs> Guys, that's the end of the review of the project called The Village at Coral Gables. There are many more projects ahead of us, so please subscribe to my channels on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, especially if you're interested about changes of prices or inventory available you should subscribe on telegram that's where we keep all of the updates i'm david arzumanian hopefully your realtor from miami